Oh, today we're playing the Crew Motorfest, and this time with the RJ Ally. And we're playing on 1080p at the medium setting, pretty much. Could be over that. There we go. One thing about this game, we have a 60 FPS cap, and there's no upscaling as far as I know. So, we're playing a native, and with a 60 FPS limit. Alright, let's see how we go, guys. And outside, we're sitting at 30 FPS, which is at the, I guess the hub that you spawn at. And we're sitting at 30 FPS, the GPU is mostly maxed out. Can fall down though, surprisingly, even at 1080p. Which is kind of crazy. But yeah, 30 FPS medium settings, the game looks nice. And 30 FPS is definitely playable, I would say. It's not ideal for a racing game, because you do have some input delay. Or it's not as responsive as 60 FPS. But regardless, you'll get used to it, and the game is playable like this. But personally, I think it's best to leave 1080p for playing in dock mode, or on a TV, for example. And for portable play or handheld play, play at 900p or 720p even. I think for this game, though, the sweet spot is 900p, because 720p will leave us with a lot of GPU headroom. This might be a bad take, but I think this game is better than Forza Horizon 5. If you compare it to Forza Horizon 4, 3, or even 1, it isn't as good, uh, but versus 5, I think it definitely is. It just has more things to do. Yeah, in Forza Horizon 4, we had rank play, and that was taken out. The online mode for Forza Horizon 5 was broken for like three months, I think, at release. And normally, the DLCs are pretty good in Forza, but for Forza Horizon 5, they were pretty bland, to be honest. We had the Hot Wheels DLC and uh, the Rally Pack, which was pretty much the same map. I don't know. Hopefully, for 6, it'd be good, but with how the Forza Motorsport release went, I don't have high hopes. Now one issue with both games is how fast you get the cars. For example, in Forza Horizon 5, you start off with a Corvette, I think a Supra, and a BMW maybe? I'm not sure, but it's like immediately you got a fast car. And in this game, it's pretty much the same thing. No progression. But yeah, in this race, it's been sitting at 30 FPS the whole time pretty much. It's not the most intensive race, but we are going through the map. And uh... Yeah, it's been mostly well. It does stutter occasionally, but again, for the most part, it is doing decently well. Alright, can I get this window? I think my car is slow on the straights, and the turning isn't that good either. Come on. Is it scripted? Because he's slowing down now. I think this is scripted. Yeah, I was behind the entire time, but in the last corner, I came back. I don't know about that one. Alright, let's back out guys, play 900p, 30 watts, and see how we go. Can I say how much I hate the Ubisoft client? This thing is the most awful client ever. It is... It keeps logging me out. Why am I getting logged out? It makes no sense, and I gotta sign in every single time pretty much. I have a long password, and it's not like an easy password either. So, <laughs> it takes forever on the ally, every single time. And on the ally... The overlay is broken. It freezes, it sticks, it doesn't go away. It's just a giant pain. Alright guys, in the same spot now we're sitting at the high 30s and the low 40s. The GPU is even lower now, at 90%. It's not always, but uh, it does fall down a bit lower at times. For the graphics, identical. The game looks fantastic. This game is a massive jump from the Crew 2. The Crew 2 looks ugly in my opinion, it just looks so blurry and soft. This game is on par with Forza Horizon 5 for me. It looks really good. Hmm, where can we go now? It seems to be a ping active, so I'll just go to that and see how we go. But yeah, so far it's doing much better. Like nearly 40 FPS at all times. Now the performance in this game is just not as good as Forza Horizon 5. Again, for me it looks the same, or it's on par with Forza Horizon 5. But the performance is definitely far worse. In Forza I can easily get like 70 FPS. Forza, it can run on any PC pretty much. It's very easy to run, it's very optimized, it looks great. This game looks great, but it is harder to run, that's for sure. But Forza Motorsport, which was on a new engine, runs like crap. It is just so poorly optimized. I think we can still get 60 FPS on the Ally. And that was a release, I think. It's been a long time. Okay, you know what, I can't do these races. This is just solo. So I'm gonna back out and do a proper race with more people in it. So as much as I love this game, it isn't as good as the first crew. The first crew, 
that game was honestly so good. A great story or a fun story, had decent handling, it had a massive map, and good car customization. And the games after that just weren't as good, unfortunately. Same with Forza, to be honest. Forza Horizon 1, for me, is the best. And then each entry after that just became worse and worse. Here we go. Doing a proper race now. And the FPS is pretty much the same. A bit lower, of course, but like 2 or 3 FPS, but that's pretty much it. We are still sitting in the high 30s and the low 40s. So yeah, our lowest point was around 33 FPS and our peak was around 42 to 43. And the average is around the high 30s and low 40s. So yeah, that is 900p guys. I'm gonna pause the game here, try 15 watts and see how we go with that. And playing at 15 watts and here we go guys. 26 FPS. Yeah, not so good is it? So I think 720p is the way to go for 15 watts. But yeah, the mid 20s, the game does stutter a bit more than before. And overall, the game does feel more sluggish as well. I guess it can be playable for some, but not ideal at all for a racing game. Alright, let's back out, guys, and play at 720p, 30 watts, and uh, go from there. See, the overlay is broken again. Every single time, the overlay just breaks. It is straight up frozen. Look, see, I can play the game, and the overlay is still on screen. A quick restart later. Let's see. If we can get anywhere near 60 FPS at 720p. So I'm gonna guess we're gonna be seeing a bottleneck on the CPU side and the FPS will max out at around 50 FPS probably. I mean so far I'm pretty correct. We're sitting at 50 FPS and the GPU is at 90% so it is being held back. Now the FPS isn't stable, it isn't a stable 50 but pretty close to be honest. Pretty close. And the game will feel far more responsive as well versus 1080p for example. The graphics aren't too bad to be honest, they are pretty decent still. So yeah, if you're playing handheld, this is perfectly fine, it looks good. And the FPS is definitely far higher versus 900p. But if you want to balance between sharpness and performance, then use 900p instead. And during the race, we're sitting at the high 40s and the mid 40s. Honestly, pretty close to the free roam again. Not too bad. Not bad at all. So yeah, there we go. Playing at 30 watts will give you a near 60 FPS experience. It can fall below it as well, keep that in mind. It can fall down into the mid 40s, but the game will feel far more responsive in the 50s and the high 40s versus playing at the low 40s and the mid 30s. Let's pause it here, guys. Try 15 watts and go from there. All right, 15 watts and so far so good. 30 FPS, not bad. We are cutting it close though. So, in a heavier scene, it might fall below 30, but yeah, 30 FPS is definitely playable. But the car again will become more sluggish versus before, so you yeah, keep that in mind. And up here, we're sitting at the mid 30s and even the high 30s at times. Miata, huh? The MX5. Yeah, it gets smoked. Alright, that is the crew motorfest guys on the ROG Ally. Hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for the next video. See you guys then.